Hello viewers, it's Super GT here. Welcome to some more 4GT Le Mans gameplay from the ESL Open League. So the league is coming to a close, uh, at least it is for us mere mortals. We do have the grand final next weekend uh, to look forward to. So with that in mind, we are going to go through a couple of races here and let's see how we do in this first one at Nürburgring Grand Prix. We started on the front row, second place. And we've kept our second place through the first couple of corners. Just going very deep into the first turn to make sure I didn't get rammed. And then that actually turned out quite nicely, uh, keeping my position in the end, coming through the first section. At the end of the first lap, sticking with Pocoyo, and I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, this is the guy who I had a very close race with around Monza, which uh, many of you would have seen that video. It was a very good race, and he is a very fast and respectful racer so let's see what we can do coming into the first turn nothing quite on here he's gone a little bit deep and I've gone for a better apex there gives me more of a run into this one he goes narrow and I'm looking for the cut back on the exit it's not quite there though coming into the third turn I'm gonna go for a lunge he's gone very wide on the entry and this uh, car has got very good brakes and actually going in for a very nice move taking the lead there and as we come through the exit I can see his proximity arrow, and that's always unnerving just to see that there. But I think with this kind of uh, driver behind me, I shouldn't be unnerved, because I know that he has the quality to drive cleanly and properly. So through the right-hander, as we go down the hill to the lowest point of the circuit, we've got a couple of hundred feet there. I think uh, Pocoyo had a bit of an exit error through that uh, preceding corner. And on the exit here, now this is the corner where I think I was gaining quite a lot. Now tell me if you do this or not, dip two wheels onto that curb because I think it does give you a better run through the chicane. It's a hard technique, I think there's lots of people, but I think it is a good one. And then at the end of the race, it was a convincing victory in the end, just holding him off for another couple of laps. We move to Brands Hatch, the Indy circuit here. Third on the grid on the inside, which is always better than the outside around a, a tight circuit like this. And then the guy on second is just going to get punted off. He is absolutely just going to get punted off. He's got from second down to probably right near the back. Covering the inside up the hill into the second corner. And I've maintained second. I think when, once you're up the front of the grid, it is a lot easier. I think when you're in the middle, that is definitely the worst place to be. If you're at the back, it's not too bad. In many ways, it can be better than being in the middle. Because even if you're in the middle, there's a much higher chance that you're just going to get well, have a fatality basically. There's a high chance that you're just gonna get completely wiped out. Now this guy, I did just tap him there as I went past. So I'm just gonna, you know, come back off the throttle, let him go back into the lead. I think that's not always the fairest way to overtake. If you uh, are gonna go past and just tap them on the way, sometimes it's best just to let them go back. Cause I did just tap him wide slightly and then that gave me the opening. Uh, so. As we go through there, he touched me in the back. I don't think there was really much in that. I threw into the lead of the race. It's an eight lapper, but it is only a short uh, short circuit here. About 45 seconds is a very quick lap around this circuit. So we're looking at about six minutes for the race. Now coming through into this last turn here on the circuit is a really uh, very tough track to get right in this, uh, especially in this kind of car, because. Of the, all, the, all the undulations on uh, traction control off as well. It does make it tricky. I'll leave myself open there and expose going into the first turn. But it's a very uh, hard first turn to get a move done. And that curve on the inside is very nasty. So you're going to make sure that you have plenty of space to overtake if you're going to do it there. Through the hairpin. I've still got the lead intact. And uh, just getting pressured actually from Pocoyo behind. But I'm just keeping my cool... And in the end, I maintained the lead and went for another victory, which was very good to see. Now, here's what a clean star looks like around Brands Hatch, for those of you who have never seen one before, which is probably most people. Through the first turn, no one actually made contact, not at the front anyway. I don't know how bad it was back there, but I can't see anyone getting smashed off. I can't see any tyre smoke either. So through the hairpin at the top of the hill, the leader maintaining his position. And at the end of lap two, he just left the door open slightly. So I went for the move. And we just made contact there. 
it's hard to say exactly if that's a bad thing or not. I think that was it was it was strong but fair. I think I think sometimes it's, it's hard to say because sometimes the person getting overtaken simply turns in when they know that there's someone there and it makes it look a lot worse than it is because maybe he should have seen me coming and then just you know got out of the way a bit. But anyway, I don't think it mattered too much. We move to Silverstone. Let's see what we can do from third on the grid. So getting decent grid slots, which always helps, into the first turn. Uh, Paps just going to go around my outside there through the first turn. I got hemmed in a little bit from the guy in front, so I couldn't really do too much. And then into the second or third turn so here, sorry. Just keeping it really close. Really fine margins there as we come through that turn together. And it's really good to be able to race with these fast drivers who know exactly how to push each other to the limit so there we were millimeters away from each other but without making contact and without crashing it's good to see coming up the middle straight now at silverstone into the left hander it's getting very cozy and i've just got third place back perhaps he's going to be on the outside there to so go through the right hander and i'm just going to tap elephant red bull ahead he regains control though so we have got through the turn and going back onto the old main straight at Silverstone. I think on Forza 4 this was the main straight until they obviously had the redevelopments and changed the location of the main straight. So coming through uh, Cops Corner, Elephant Red Bull is not going to get the best of exits there. It's going to be a drag race into the S's section, the Magus Beckett section. And I'm just going to get there ahead. Carry a lot of speed through that right-hander. You can carry so much speed. This car is very direct on the turning, which I love about it. You can really throw it into corners and it just reacts so nicely. And then further around that lap, into the last section of the track. Going over through the left-hander nicely, but it's this right-hander where I made a big error there. And you can see how closely I pulled up to the back of RIP STI Racing. But then look at that, he gains about 200 feet on me just from that one mistake. Later on on lap two, I did catch up once again, locking up though through Cops. And I'm just going to go wide here. So the story of this race, from, for the most part, was catching up, but then making mistakes, and then not quite able to capitalise on his driving. I, I think I was a little bit quicker on the whole, but I was just making too many mistakes when I got to the back of him. He goes for a, a wider line through there, and I think I am gaining at this point. But coming into the final section once again, let's see what we can do here. Taking the left hand nicely. And then again, it's the right-hander. I just get a little bit of oversteer on the entry. And then I just have to back out of the throttle entirely. Otherwise, I'm just going to have a big accident. And sometimes you just have to back out because it's not, it's not worth taking the risk. You might as well just play it safe. Because as you can see here, still in second. And I have a very good shot at winning this race. And it's very much still on for victory. Third place is still very close behind though. So it could go either way. I could gain, but I could lose. I do have to be very careful with what I do here. Coming up into Cops Corner, I've got a better run, but it's not really a good overtaking place to go for a move. The braking zone is very short into there, but STI Racing is going to go wide on the exit. I've got the better momentum. It's a repeat of the overtake on lap one, and I've overtaken into this section, carrying speed through to give me a better defense into this turn. Normally, I take a wider line in, which does normally make me vulnerable to being overtaken. I was just about far away enough they couldn't do that. So coming into the final section for the last time. Let's see if we can do it properly this time. Third time lucky. Just backed out of the throttle a little bit earlier there. A little bit more patient and in many ways less is more in some of these cars. So we're going to come through to complete the set. Four victories there. It's not many times that you'll see that in one of my videos. I, but I do ha I really like this car. It kind of suits my style perfectly. But that is going to bring a close to the video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. As always, let me know your thoughts. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you'd like to see more like this. And I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.